Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this clip, we continue our series on NIP with a discussion of what can happen when the NIP is neglected. The risk of NIP neglect is a non-uniform process and product. Non-uniform across the width, non-uniform down the length, and non-uniform with time. There are a dozen sources of non-uniformities across the width as described in my Web 101 module. These are often easily diagnosed with one of the many NIP impression products and techniques. However, in this clip we will focus on variability along the length or with time. The first two case histories are with brand new state-of-the-art computer control winders by a century-old builder with far, far more sophistication than most other builders have. The first case was a rider roll on a two-drum winder that had a divide-by-two error in the PLC math. The second case was a real secondary arm that opened up with a 5PLI setting. This third case is the before and after rebuild measurement of a real nip load using load cells on a secondary arm. Unfortunately, this is not an extreme example. It is the state of affairs of nearly every paper machine reel built in the last century. No one knew how bad the nip control friction was because no one measured it. Indeed, people didn't know you were supposed to measure it much less how to do it and what to do about it. This last example was not from a builder but rather from a third-party integrator who upgraded the controls of a rider roll nip to computer control. Unfortunately, the electrical engineer did not know how to calibrate zero, much less how to measure uncertainty. The net result was the zero error was as large as the control load. The net result was the friction uncertainty was as large as the control load. The net result was the computer controlled NIP was probably worse than the originally supplied CAM control NIP. These examples I've shown here are by no means unusual. In fact, the majority of winder NIP loads may be more than 20% different than the computer displays and errors greater than a factor of two are not uncommon. You cannot safely assume that the machine builder has done their homework in this regard. Some have, but most have not. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. Stay tuned for more clips on NIPS and other web handling topics.